Hi, and welcome to Tech Tips from Teachers. On this episode, we'll be looking at apps that are great for formative assessment in the classroom. Our guest for this episode is Emily Tomes from San Jose, California. Emily has a master's degree in elementary education from the University of Virginia and is currently a second grade teacher. As part of her role, she helps to lead the curriculum and assessment design programs for her entire school and previously, she taught third grade at a charter school that adhered to an adaptive learning model. So Emily, tell us a little bit about why technology is important in the classroom. Technology makes collaborating with my coworkers really easy. I use Google Docs for planning, and I am able to communicate what I'm working on with my coworkers, and we're able to share a lot of that information online. It's also, it helps a lot with planning um, and making sure that we are able to share data regarding the students and how they've scored on tests, how, they, how they're doing on projects, and we're able to communicate with one another about that. So technology makes it a lot easier for me to work with my coworkers and collaborate with them, and also to plan. Cool, and what about um, formative assessment? Why is that something that's critical in the classroom? Yeah, so formative assessment is really important for two key reasons for me. Um, it's a planning tool. When I give my kids a test or a quick little check for understanding, I'm able to tell really quickly whether they're understanding what I'm giving them. So I'm able to use it for planning and make sure that I know what my next steps are as a teacher and also so that I can differentiate for the specific needs of my students in my class. In speaking with teachers about apps that are great for formative assessment, we came upon a few major themes. It's important that these apps are easy to manage and implement, that they have strong reporting, and that they help to foster discussion among students. So Emily, why is it so critical that an app is easy for a teacher to manage? As a teacher, my time is really sacred. There's a lot that I need to do in the day. When I have an app that is easy to manage, um, I can use that app to help me create quick formative assessments and quick checks for understanding so that I don't have to spend a whole lot of time creating those things on my own. And what about that data piece? Why is reporting so important? When I have really solid data, I can use it for two purposes. I use it for planning. I can use it to see what my students did really well with, what they need a little bit of support and review on, and if I need to go back and totally reteach something. So when I get data back from those students, I can tell what I need to do as a teacher. I can also look at it for differentiation purposes. So I can tell which kids in my class did really well on a certain skill, which kids might need a little, just a little bit of extra support, and which kids need to be in a small group with me or with an intervention specialist. Gotcha. And then what about with discussion? Why is that something that you'd want to include in your class? Yeah, this is one of my favorite components of what of really building a solid formative assessment because when I see the discussion piece of an answer, I'm able to look at the sort of gray area of where a kid was what their thought process was as they were coming up with an answer. So when I see their discussion, I can tell how they got to their answer, maybe some misconceptions that they might have, and what I can target my instruction towards the next time I review a certain skill. So if I have the students discussing something, it's a lot easier for me to tell what their thoughts process was and what I can be reviewing as a teacher. Emily, let's take a look at some apps that are really great for formative assessment. Yeah, so the first one I want to look at is Socrative, and Socrative is great because it's really easy to implement and to manage. As a teacher, one of my favorite things is that there's no student logins needed. Students can just join the teacher's classroom based on the unique code that I receive as a teacher. The other thing I really like about it is that I can create formative assessments in a lot of different ways. Um, they also have some games that can really engage the kids in the process of doing this formative assessment. They can sort of compete with one another. Tell us about Exit Ticket. Yeah, so Exit Ticket's great because it gives me the opportunity to use that strong reporting. I get to look at the Exit Ticket formats to decide how my kids did on their assessments. I can look at very different dashboards and tell how they're being successful with certain things and what they still need to review. It gives me a chance to give assessments either in the middle of a lesson, I can do something called a check for understanding where I look to see if the kids are understanding my teaching as I'm going through the lesson. Um, but I can also build more traditional exit tickets at the end of the lesson and give them a final sort of chance to show me what they learned. And what's valuable about Verso? It gives students an opportunity to watch a video or look at a task and respond to a task in a discussion format. So they log in and they write their responses in more conversational tone. They can like each other's comments. They can comment on one another's comments. Um, and it just allows that discussion piece to continue. It does offer me accountability as a teacher so I can log in and see which students are posting the discussions and I get a chance to see which students are participating, which students might need a little push in class to participate more. In the formative assessment component, it allows me as the teacher to see 
what parts are very present in their discussions and what components I need to go back and really push them to be thinking about as they're posting their answers and posting their comments. Emily, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It was great to be here. And to recap, a few things to keep in mind for formative assessment apps. It's important that they're easy to manage and implement, that they have strong reporting, and that they help to foster discussion among students. For more episodes of Tech Tips from Teachers, check out the Google Developers YouTube channel. Thanks.